Get the finance minister to be here. I think some other works might have come for her to be out. But I want to tell her. Yesterday when she was replying in the Lok Sabha, she was replying to the members of the DMK and other people who criticized the government for not having uh, controlled the price rise and the petroleum prices. And uh, in the course of her speech, she said that the DM, please, the DMK during the election campaigning gave a manifesto and it has not fulfilled its promises of reducing the petrol price and all. Sir, I would like to submit through you to this government as well as to the finance minister. She knows pretty well, but she spoke to the gallery. We expected something else from her. In one year, the DMK government, headed by Mr. M. K. Stalin, has fulfilled 70% of the poll promises. We have yet more four years to cross. And we have reduced the petrol price by three rupees. And we have reduced the uh, milk price by three rupees. And we have done a very, very well. See, this government, because of these policies, I, I was about to come to that in the later part, but statistics very clearly say that the sex ratio of women have increased, but their anemic ratio is increasing very much. And the nutrition of the children are down to the level. Infant mortality is more. So, sensing all these things, in Tamil Nadu, sir, other than the nutrition meal scheme in the afternoon, we give also breakfast to the children in the school. That is a very progressive one. And everything that happened is only because of this government's policies. Everything. During the election, let me ask. She is challenging us in one year whether we have fulfilled the poll promises. Let me ask them. It is eight years you have completed. Have you fulfilled your poll promises gave, which you gave in 2014? You said that black money will be totally unearthed and 15 lakh cash will be deposited in every citizen's account. Have you deposited? Have you deposited? Later, you yourself, sir. It was Jumla, Jumla. Later, I'll, I'll tell you. Later, your own Home Minister, your own Home Minister, Honorable Amit Shah told, it's a Jumla. Jumla? <laughs> Jumla means empty promise. Hey, empty promise. So, uh, political promise. Whatever be the, I, I don't know the meaning of that word. So, you gave an assurance, but you are not fulfilled, Father. You yourself said it is an electoral promise. So, you have cheated the people. You have misled them. And you said every year you will give two crores of employment to the youth. But now, I said, I said in the beginning, the unemployment has soared high. And next comes the demonetization policy, Un the highly flawed demonetization policy which was imposed upon the people all of a sudden, which devastated the MSM sector, the informal economy, and the whole economy of this country. And what the Prime Minister told when people were agitated, just in 50 days, if it is not set right, you hang me. Did he not tell that? You punish me, he said. But years have rolled by the crisis caused by the demonetization and the adverse impact on the economy and the MSME sector and the poor people still continue. So whatever you have done are only flawed. The GST, again to say, the GST has increased the basic prices. And uh, uh, Derek was quoting about two, a couple, a man and a woman getting up in the morning getting ready to go to office, going out, what are all the expenses? Let me tell you one more thing, Mr. my dear friend. A person dies, he is no more. He, go, he is taken to the crematorium, there he has to pay 18%. 18% GST in crematorium. Honourable member, honourable member. How sad? How sad it is? So also the petroleum prices, they cannot justify it. Showing this and that reason. See, when the UP wa UPA was in power, the oil prices and the petrol prices in our country. Just a small comparison. Because we are not just evasively making comments or making accusations like the others do from that side. In 2011, 
the oil price was at the highest 111 rupees 89 paisa when the petrol price was only 58.5 that was in UPA and when it demitted office the oil prices have come down to 84.16 and the petrol was 72.26 when they took over it was the same the very next year the oil prices in the global level came down to 46.17 rupee Do but here dollar sorry dollar and here the petrol price was 60.49 it was not proportionate when the oil prices come down it should be transferred to the consumer but it was no rather the petrol price was hiked and slowly coming like that today the oil prices are 121 dollar per barrel and the petrol price is 105.41 sir again compare upa 111.89 oil price the petrol price was 58.5 and now only 121 just 10 rupees 10 dollar more the petrol price is 105.41 so you are actually accumulated in the past three years only the government has earned as per the reports or the statement given by the finance minister 8.71 lakh crore has been earned by way of petroleum prices hiking whom does it affect not the corporates actually they are benefited whatever you have the money you are waving off the corporates loans telling that we are augmenting the incentives no but you are increasing their profits during the pandemic the whole country was suffering everyone because of the non-plan implementation of uh, this lockdown what happened the migrant workers they died they lost their jobs they were starving for food many people were suffering so many were left unemployed whereas the corporate's profit increased to 22 percent than before because of your incentives you take care of them a minimum standard of living you have to assure the people that is the basic duty of a government minimum a standard of living what do you say in hindi roti kapda avraka makan but that is not but even that is not so sir i would like to say the rbi very clearly say the consumption level has declined from 100 figures to 72 figures people are not able to buy the expenses people are spending for their food in or the rural, rural areas please 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 rural areas have come down very badly they are not able to eat their calorie intake is coming less i would say sir the indirect tax what the low income group people is giving that is what the high income group the corporate is also giving the direct taxes income is only 54 percent the rest of 46 percent are given by the ordinary poor people you are taxing them you are breaking their bone backs they are not able to survive essential commodities price go up the poor people see what do you call ujjala ujjala what is ujjala, ujjala. ujjala. Uh, you are given stuffs but the gas price has gone up 1100 they are having stuffs but they cannot buy gas women are starving women are the family heads are something i got a lot to say sir but i have to confine to the time which i have been limited to this is the situation in this country they are not bothered they only give excuses the fall in the depreciation of the rupee value you cannot compare the other countries you cannot say that person is sick i am also sick you have to be healthy so the government has to take action how to bring back the rupee value to the country's needed level it is not doing so whereas the forex reserves in the reserve bank of india has come down by I, for 4 lakh crore rupees to shore up the Indian rupee. What more you have got? You are benefiting the corporates, punishing the poor people. This is not the right gesture of a government. Sir, she is not here, but I would like to conclude since my time is up. Uh, I think she would come to know because she used to quote from Tamil Thirukural uh, Purananur and all. I would also like to quote one Tirukkural. Kodayali Sengol, Kudiyombal Nangum, Udayonam Vendarku Uli. Means 
ஐ உட் சே இன் தமிழ் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் தேவைப்படுவோருக்கு தேவைப்படுவதை தருவது அடுத்தவர்கள் கருத்தை மதிப்பது நல்லாட்சி நடத்துவது எல்லாவற்றிற்கு மேல் மக்களை பாதுகாப்பது இந்த நான்கும் உடையதே அரசருக்கு அழகு லெட் மீ டெல் இன் இங்கிலீஷ் லெட் மீ டெல் இன் இங்கிலீஷ் யூ ஹாவ் டு கிவ் த புவர் வாட் தே நீட் நம்பர் ஒன் நம்பர் டூ யூ ஹாவ் டு லெண்ட் யுவர் இயர்ஸ் to the views of those people who oppose you yes. number 3 a perfect administration a good governance and care of the people's will are the qualities of a real king do you do that you are not taking care of the poor people you are not lending your ears to the opposition criticism or comments or anything which we say however it may be genuine your administration is not also good you say minimum government maximum governance but now maximum government but minimum governance thank you very much thank you manya shri sanjay singh ji aapke do santosh pj kumar ekathil pribida vanadikum poikal kudrai varum august 5 mudal ungal abhimana thereyarangalil samsi scc il jay nadikum enni thuniga varum august 4 mudal ungal abhimana thereyarangalil